Hello everyone, my name is Kurt. I am the CEO of a non-for-profit organization called Save Our Seas. We aim to save the million, millions of fish getting trapped and killed during the human humans' voracious overfishing of our seas. Our business is experiencing, experiencing exponential success in the immediate Bay Area. I would truly love to expand across the Pacific Atlantic and eventually ocean-wide, but we are running into a few issues. There isn't enough money to allocate to international advancements, and I need help locating the source of the problem. Well, 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 Kurt. It seems we have a class of budgeting issues on our fence. It's happened to be myself in the past, believe it or not. Now let us analyze the fundamental building blocks of your budget. There are two main types of budgeting methods a business may follow. Incremental or zero-based. What type of approach does your organization use? We have always used the incremental budgeting approach to save our seas. With, with this, our managers use the approved budgets for, from previous years as a base for developing our current year's budget. This method has always worked well for this organization. Aha! That is what I thought. Incremental budgeting is a widely practiced. See, this approach, managers don't have to spend a significant amount of time justifying the allocation of their funds towards certain pur purchases or expenses. When saving time in one place, you could be cheating yourself in another. When using the incremental approach, money may be allocated towards an expense in the future just because it was an expense in the past. This is what we call a budgeting momentum issue. It can obviously lead to an inefficient allocation of valuable resources. So, you claim there isn't enough money to expand. <clears throat> Due to your current budgeting tactics, the upper level managers in your department are using outdated budgets to plan for the future. For example, it has, occur has it occurred to you that your vice president of marketing is probably al allocating resources to advertise to target markets in the Gulf of Mexico that you currently dominate. Your budgeting team has not prepared a plan for how much money the organization needs for new marketing opportunities. Unfortunately, these interests are being overlooked due to current allocation of advertising funds in the Gulf just because the funds were important in pre previous years. My advice to you would be to reorganize the budget and implement a zero-based budgeting system. This method assumes that all funds must be justified at the beginning of each year before any resources are allocated at all. Alas, if you have any obsolete or unnecessary expenditures, they are not carried over. Yes, this, yes, this may be a little bit more time consuming, but altogether beneficial. It will lead to effective allocation of resources this will put an end to the excessive spending in the wrong areas and focus resources on new ventures, including globalization, for your corporation. Kurt, we will check back with you in a few months.